Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on some things that are going on. Sorry, low battery. But anyways, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an update about some things that have been going on. We've done a lot of yard work. We've planted a lot of stuff. I'm actually going to go outside right now since it's actually the sun is going down and the heat's going down. I'm going to go outside and water these plants that we just planted and show you our new bushes and our new plants and everything you guys haven't seen. Um, as far as some updates of some things that have happened, um, let's see, a bunch has happened since you guys have, um, seen me. I uh, we got a couch, we got our bar stools, I mean, this has been months and months I haven't posted, um, we're settling in, you know, getting everything organized, working on yard work. One of my chickens actually sadly passed away. If you guys remember my more of a grayish silky that I had, her actual name was Sophia. She was gray. Um, She passed away. Basically, I went outside and her head to her neck was soaked and I had no clue what happened. I was so confused. I had just checked on them not too long ago and I went outside and she was just you know, dead in her chicken coop. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what happened? I was freaking out. I was like, she's one of my favorite chickens. Like, I'm still like shocked that she's gone. But, um, all the other animals are doing pretty good. Boone and River, um, they actually got separated. Um, uh, we've been wanting to separate them for a long time for many, many different reasons, which I'll show you how, what they look like right now. But mostly because Boone, the more chunkier, uh, you guys would know if you could know by the description. Boone, the more chunkier one that is way more bigger than River, he was stealing all the food constantly, all the time. I mean, we would separate their bowls and everything, and they would still eat out of the same bowl. And then Boone would just finish it all, and River would have barely anything left. So we've been wanting to separate them. And then the reason Ounce was another reason that's kind of more you can't say on YouTube. <laughs> but Boone was doing something to River that was really inappropriate. They're not fixed, but they are going to get fixed. We are basically just letting Boone lose some weight before he goes and gets fixed because um, the vet would yell at us <laughs> um, for how fat he is. But he's losing weight, which you guys will see. What else? Um, I'm going to the hospital actually on Wednesday to have a sleep study because... A couple weeks ago, I woke up and my face was like completely pale. I couldn't breathe. My lips were blue. I uh, don't really know what happened. I went to the hospital. They checked everything. I mean, they did literally everything you can imagine. EKG, chest x-ray, blood work, all this stuff. Poked and probed and everything came back normal. He said I was healthy as a horse. Even my blood pressure was good. I checked my sugar and it was good. Like I checked everything and everything was fine. So I really don't know what's going on. They said just to get a sleep study done. So I'm going on Wednesday to go to the hospital to get the actual equipment to get told how to use it. Um, and then I bring it back the next day. So it would be on Thursday, I think in the afternoon, but I go early in the morning on Tuesday to pick it up. And they're going to have to tell me how to use it. I only have to use it for a day. Normally, it's like three days. But I only have to use it for a day. Then they get the test results. They send them into some kind of sleep specialist. And then they tell me if I have, have like sleep apnea or something like that. Which I have no clue if I have sleep apnea. I have no clue what happened. And the only thing I can think of is if it isn't sleep apnea, then it might have been vertigo. Because I had an inner, um, I went to the doctor probably about a couple days before it happened because I was having ear an, an earache on this side yeah on my left side and I was like what's going on I thought maybe I had like an ear infection or something she looked at my ear and said I didn't have an ear infection I actually had like a bump or like a, a bump with like a hair follicle in it or something like that and so she gave me some antibiotics to make it go away and all this kind of stuff and then this is hap that happened. So I was like, well, maybe it's just vertigo, you know, like, because I woke up and the room was spinning and all this kind of stuff. And it was awful. So, yeah, it was so bad that we thought about calling the ambulance, but we just took our little, takes us like a long time to get to our hospital. And um, I just decided, no, let's not do the ambulance. Let's just go there. Like, I don't want to call the ambulance for something like this. Like, if I was at the point where I like couldn't catch my breath, I would have caused the ant called the ambulance, but no, so my mom took me and we went and it was like one of the most awful experiences ever. Um, when you think that, oh, you know, they're there to save your life, it's like a very humiliating kind of thing because it's just like so stressful and you're stressed out and all this kind of stuff. 
So, yeah, hopefully I know some answers pretty soon. And I'll keep you guys updated if I know some more. Um, when she told me if it's sleep apnea, sometimes people are, I mean, most of the time people are born with that. And it doesn't get diagnosed till like, uh, later in life when they start to have more problems with it. And it could have been because I usually sleep with two pillows. And those two nights I slept with one. And I wasn't elevated like I was supposed to because I have asthma. And my airway might have been, like, closed or something. I don't know, guys. I'll just let you know when I find out more because at the, this point, I'm just thinking it's just a mystery. So, we'll see. But let's go outside and I'll show you my plants and all that kind of stuff. First off, let's take a look at these precious kitties. Little Max just enjoying the window. He's so precious. He's so cute. His mama's a little baby. And then this is Miss Olivia. She's hiding her face. She's stretching. Yeah, she's stretching. So chunky. They're both so chunky until they get fed real good. <laughs> this baby. She's so cute. She's like, Mom, leave me alone. I'm trying to sleep. Look at her little paws. Oh my goodness. Look at his paws. His paws are chunky. And they're so cute. Oh, he's gonna bring his little nails out on me. You're purring. <laughs> Look how cute. I'm going to take a picture of them. Livia. Oh my gosh. Precious. All right, let's go outside even though I want to just film you all day. You're so cute. I forgot to also mention that I got a piano, which I guess you can see it pretty good. This was actually my great uncle Jim's. Um, he passed away sadly and they were going to give it away to somebody or sell it to somebody. And I've always wanted a piano to learn some music. So I got it. The clock is going off. It's only 15 minutes, so it shouldn't be that long of it going off. But I did this little butterfly. My sorry, this thing is like getting on my nerves. It's ding ding. But anyways, my grandpa he carved things out of wood, and I burned like a butterfly on it and painted it. And on the back of it, it actually has some of the lyrics to Dolly Parton, "Love is like a butterfly." Then you can twist that, and it will make the little candle come on. This is just like a little wooden dish that my mom got from some store. I don't know what store it was. And then like a jar of these fake lavender plants that are something coated. I forget what it's called. Like some kind of little powdery coat on them that makes it look that cute. And then this piano light also came with it. And I got a couple of books in the stool that open up. And I actually just painted this which is a little cute little hummingbird that I made like a colorful one. And I was inspired by Dolly Parton, my coat of many colors. And here's the piano. I'll show you some stuff that I know. Hang on. Shoot. Kind of like that, and then. off of all the little keys and stuff this is um favorites from the broadway and the movies um kind of thing but i try to keep it real nice and dust it off and like use like a shine on it to make it look nice and good but i kind of want to show you guys the hummingbird in more sunlight so that's actually what i'm gonna do i need to scoop the stool back in and also has little step pedals at the bottom but i'm learning so i'm trying to get better at it but here's my hummingbird i'm gonna show you in the light 
please ignore the mess. I don't want to give away what I'm about to show you outside either. Well, the sun's the sun goes down. Look how cute that is. It's adorable. And the belly has like a little cute little white and red. And I'm gonna clear gloss it to make it gloss. I think he said this is pine. But yeah, my grandpa, he makes these and then I painted it. So it's really cute. I like it a lot. I have a roller. Don't you just love the hoverboard? All of our shoes are in the front. My dad just got done pressure washing the house. We had to bring some of our dirty shoes in from the porch. But, yes, let me show you the couch. So, here's the couch. I had to turn a light on so that way you guys can see. But we have, like, a little sectional. Also came with the ottoman, which the ottoman has, like, a little cubby where we put, like, blankets in it for people to use if they come over. Marley sits here and scratches this. Not the cat, surprisingly, but Marley does. But that's the only place that's like that, thankfully. But this is what it looks like. This is all go down to the building, so please excuse that. It's just in here until we can get it down there because the grass has all been wet because it's been raining. But here is the sectional over here. Got this little chest with the lamp. There's a fly swatter we just got and a little fur thing to get cat hair off the couch, which works really good. Over here is this little stuff. Um, this is actually a working cell phone. This is our landline phone, actually. We got it from the antique store, and it works really, really good. All my dad's games, he uses the Xbox 360. Our 70-inch TV. You can see me in there. 70-inch TV. Underneath it is this little bench, but it has all of our blankets and stuff because we've been sleeping on the couch because my mom's had to monitor me, monitor me while I go to sleep. That way, she can tell if I, you know quit breathing during the night but anyways which hopefully will be fixed and i'll be back in my room pretty soon over here we just have some more decorations and stuff it's a little messy it needs to be cleaned up so the kitchen's a little bit messy because we actually just got done eating dinner so everybody's washing dishes and stuff and then our table here's our refrigerator our new refrigerator that we got you guys need the old one this is the new one which actually has like a little water jug in here outside out here the kitchen table it's a little bit of a mess my dad hangs his hat there which is annoying back here and then i'll show you the rest of this when i come inside i actually just got done pressure washing the front steps which made it look all kinds of weird designs because it was so muddy because can you guys see how muddy it is we had to add a carpet here from the people that left it for us to wipe our shoes off we need to throw it away but i want to show you the new bushes i don't really know the names of them so i have to look at the tag if anybody's interested to know but here's one of them. There's like this little seat with some flowers in it. And a little sunflower decor thing. A different kind of bush. And then those are what they came in. So that might have the names of it. This barrel has strawberries in it being planted. But I don't think they're going to grow. And then lavender. Plant lavender for luck. Does anybody know what that is from? If you don't, it's from the movie Practical Magic. Which is actually one of my favorite movies. With Sandra Bullock in it. It's really, really good. If you haven't watched it, I definitely recommend and then we start off with the same bush that's here, over here. We have outside lights. Our grass is still working on getting growed. Um, yeah, don't let's not talk about that. Marley in the window. <laughs> How much is that dog in the window? She's for free. Anybody want her? Just kidding. Um, but anyways, then we go back onto this yellow bush. We just planted these literally yesterday, so they're gonna take some time to grow. And then onto that bush again. And then on to the yellow one again. And then lavender at the end. Lavender for luck. And then we got this cute little windmill. It's so cute. My dad pressure washed all these stones today. Because they were so dirty from the rain. But look how cute. Wee. And then you walk over here. Look how cute. From a distance. Then you walk over here. These are actual sunflowers that are growing. They need to be transplanted into something bigger, which is what we're working on right now. But if you guys can see, oh, a cute little ladybug. Take a picture of it. It's so cute. Um, if you guys can see here, they're actually going to about to blossom. Oh my goodness. They're about to bloom. But you can see their roots are coming through. So we got to transplant them really quick. And then over here in the patches and patches of grass growing, is actual blueberry bush and it's gonna get out to four feet wide by four feet tall by four feet four feet four feet on each side <laughs> four feet four feet four feet <laughs> but this is what it looks like and there's actual blueberries on it already which 
Let's see if we can see any new ones. Oh. There's a blueberry right there. Actual blueberry, guys. I just picked it. Hopefully it's right. I don't see any more blueberries. But it's going to be a blueberry bush. So when you come and you park your car, there's going to be a blueberry bush right here that you can get you some blueberries on. Which, this one has a little bit of mud on it. I should probably wash it. But hey, let's try it. M dirt don't hurt nobody, right? Let's try I've already actually ate one of these before, so let's just see if it's sweet. Tastes a little seedy. <laughs> it's not ripe. <laughs> then, when you walk in the backyard, you will see no grass, as well as <laughs> no grass. <laughs> Our garden that we actually got done planting yesterday. So now all my cucumbers and stuff got transplanted into something better that hopefully now they won't die because they were in something so small. <laughs> a squirrel was running up a tree. But anyways, right here is some tomatoes. Yes, 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 yes. This was tillered, but you can't even tell because it's all dirt. So <laughs> cucumbers. Cucumbers right here. This whole roll is cucumbers. This is radishes. Radish, radish, radish. And then watermelon all down there. That one looks like it's dying. Watermelon and then corn. Corn, corn, corn. Uh, so we got a good bit of vegetables and fruits because watermelon's a fruit. <laughs> and yeah, this is how it's doing. And then there's a little sprinkle system that's going to get all the plants wet and you don't have to sit there and wet it back here is actually one of my mom's mother day presents that she wanted well she got a quilt for mother's day and that windmill you guys seen because that's what she wanted but this big big rooster who just sits back here and you can see him through the kitchen window isn't he so cute the colors are adorable and then right here are some more plants that are dying but that's okay they'll come back it's just because it's so damn hot outside <laughs> I'm going to show you the plants on the back porch as well as pretty soon you guys will see the dogs here. We're going to cut out some section in the woods to put the dogs because we want them to be able to have some shade because it's so sunny back here during the day. Right now I'm filming at like 7 in the afternoon so the sun's going down. Um, but pretty soon you'll see our animals back here as well as our chickens and everything. So I don't know how much longer we're going to have. I have to wait to get them back here. We're waiting on grass, but grass takes forever to grow. And also, um, my dad didn't do it right. So, yeah. Here's some more plants. This is all watermelon, as well as tomato, as well as um, sunflowers again. The back porch is a little dirty. Please excuse it. But up here, we have a blackberry bush. Or a blackberry. I don't know if it's going to be a bush. But a blackberry bush, which is doing really, really good. As well as my lemon tree, which actually is going to grow lemons and limes on it. So, I'm trying to plant some apple seeds as well. So, we'll see how that goes. They're miniature apples. Kind of like crab apples is the way to describe it, I guess. So, but there's my little bit of an update what I've been up to. Just planting some plants and taking care of the animals like always. But, I think that's going to be it for this video. Unless I film some more on the inside, which... I don't think I'm going to. But thank you guys um, for seeing my update. And I'll see you guys next time on Abby Scoop. Bye.